What up, guys? Is welcome back to uh, Market Guide, and we're going to talk about investments in team building sets, especially the low overalls in team building sets. So let's talk about this because I made a list of what the players that we should be investing on, which teams that we should be investing in, and what, like, if you do look in the market, what players should we pick up in all these teams, all the 32 teams, guys. And I'm actually saying this, guys, before we do it, guys. If you're new, hit that like button and subscribe. We're road to 7K on this channel, guys. So let's try to hit 7K and let's start this video. Let's start it up. Okay. So I have a list of pretty much the of the best of mid and worst investments. And pretty much the worst investments, we're just talking about right now. The worst investments are pretty much Boston, Boston, Buffalo, uh, Chicago, the Kings are pretty much bad investments and pretty much the Pittsburgh Penguins were the really worst, really worst investments. There's so many people on the, there's so many on the market there. So you're not going to make the best investments on there. We do pick up the cards. Like a, a little example here, if I go to Pittsburgh Penguins and I go, I search for them and you'll see like there's 115 on the market. So pretty much if you go to like, like 15,000, 1,500, and there's so many on the market and they're not selling because there's so many on the market. You don't want that. If you're going to pick up players for like 950 and that, you want to pretty much the best investments possible to make coins. So I'm saying pretty much the best investments are 1,500, 2,000 and up. So pretty much we start with the ducks. The ducks are pretty much the best investment right now too. They don't have that many people on the market. It's only 40 on the market and you kind of search to like here and you go to like 2k mines and you're making coins out of 2k and my camera is kind of blocking that so what i can do is i'm going to move my camera over let's move it over to the side and you'll see the 2k range of price range is 2k and pretty much you're making coins out of 2k mark so this is pretty much big w there that's the pretty much what you want on the investment side of it uh you really want the best investment when you're doing this. The next best investment will be, I think it'll be like uh, Calgary Flames will be the best investment. Uh, I think they'll be like around 2K too. I think you make some 2K to 3K profit if you're like smart enough how to do it. You're pretty much, some people might throw them lower because they don't know the value of the cards. So before you do, before you put them on the market, just look at the value of the cards because you do make some good coins off the Calgary on that two, like it's, I'm saying 2K and up are big, good investments. I think the Hurricanes, yeah, the Hurricanes on my list says Hurricanes. Hurricanes are actually a really good one to, to make the, to make some like good coins, you know, like you get them at 950, you're definitely going to make them a good profit. All of this guys, I'm saying this right now. Good profit if you're going to make this. I don't. Chicago is mid. No, Chicago's not. Avalanche is actually a definitely good one too. I don't have any. I don't have any of them because I didn't get any tr untradeable ones. Usually the untradeables I throw in there. Sellables I sell. 2K for the abs are actually pretty good too. Uh, let's say. Oh yeah, Columbus is the best one. Best one to do with Columbus guys. Uh, Columbus is pretty much as you can tell. 3k 7k 3k 3k so columbus is actually pretty good it's only led on the market and you're definitely going to cash in on columbus if you do make that dallas is a mid-range one dallas is a mid-range or what's my list say about dallas i think that they're up there too i think they're a best one i don't think that's many many on the market for dallas i think hold on what, what did i put dallas on my no they're mid-range Dallas is pretty mid-range. I'm going to put a mid-range one. There's 1,500. You still make some coins. If you get them at 950 in the market, I'm going to show you what about, about 950. But you pick them up at 950, guys, you're definitely going to cash in. You're still making some coins, all of that. I know there's other taxes involved in this, but you're still going to make some good coins. So now, I'm going to show you the big profit ones. The big profit ones. Let's go to New Jersey Devils. If you have any the New Jersey Devils, you're going to cash in. Like you're definitely going to cash in if you're, if you're pretty much 
have any New Jersey Devils, I would sell them now because you're making them pretty much to 5 to 19K. Like, come on. So try to cash in on the New Jersey Devils, guys. I'm telling you, they're pretty much the golden ticket to make coins. I think the Islanders are not the greatest either. I think they're the the mid-range. I'm going to put a mid-range in even Nashville's mid-range. Uh, a lot of people do have, there's about 50 of them on the market. So you do cash in about 1,500. You're definitely going to make coins out of this. All of this. Uh, the Rangers is the best investment too. Uh, the Rangers, you make about 2K profit. I had some of them. I've been picking these up. At like a certain point. So yeah, 2K profit. You definitely make coins as this guy's smart. You put it right at 2K, but he should have put it at 50 uh one hour. He would have probably sold it. Another good team to pick up. And if you have them, I don't have any Philadelphia Flyers. I'm just doing a double check. No, I don't. Uh Philly is actually the second best profit one because there's only eight of them, and you can cash in on Philly. So hoping. People start, you know, throwing these at 950 and start picking some of these up because those are the pretty good ones. And what else are the better ones? I said, I said, I'm just looking at my list. I think, oh yeah, Vancouver is actually a good one, but I think the, there's a lot of good ones. Toronto's good ones. There's a lot of good ones out there. You just have to know the value. You have to just look through all of them. It doesn't take that long. It takes like a minute to do. 3,000K right there. New, uh, Winnipeg is a good one to sell. I think uh, the capital is actually a good investment too. But like the big ones are pretty much uh, the ones I talked about. The Devils and the Philadelphia Flyers. Capitals are up there too. You can cash in on the caps. If you have some extra ones flying around. Saying that these two are actually pretty good for some reason. Leafs are actually pretty high in the market. I've been selling them. That's what I've been doing guys. I've been selling these low overall of uh, team building sets because you can cash in on them because people don't know what the range are and they just throw them up. So we're going to talk about now the market wise, how are you going to pick these cards up? Should I just keep it in like going through team building sets like this to try to pick them up? Or should we just go to the market? And I'm going to show you that right now on the market. Okay, boys. So now we're on the market and we're going to just, you know, you're like, okay, how do we make, how do you do it? So you're 950 in the market buy now and you go to team builds and you go to nhl you can go like this and sometimes sometimes they'll actually show up on here as 950 and then you'll have like a like 15 sometimes at 950 so this is the pretty much the best way to get team building sets at not actually 950 i picked up a lot of them at 950 especially the new jersey devils i picked up uh all the best investment. I'm gonna actually throw comments in below the best investments in the chat in the comments, so you guys can know the what's the best investments that you should pick up. This are pretty much 2k and up. Uh, mid range are pretty much 1,500, but you want the pretty much the 2k and up. So guys, if you guys are new, hit that like button, subscribe to the dynasties, guys, and guys, we're on road to 7k here, and I'm out, guys. Peace. Enjoy the coin.